Hi, it's time for the math. Easy solution. Trying to discuss another Surface Pro tutorial, but now look at the Microsoft OneNote 2013. Go over a tutorial on it, and I'll be using the Microsoft Windows Surface Pro tablet PC, which over here, which I downloaded earlier. And basically, I show go over it using this because I find that using this with OneNote is really amazing. So basically OneNote is part of uh, Microsoft's Office Suite and it came with my uh, basically with my tablet PC that I bought and then I gave it a go and it's actually pretty amazing. So it has amazing note taking ability especially when you're using Surface Pro with its pen. You can see my earlier video on uh, the pen. I go over a tutorial on it so make sure to watch that in the video links below. I included a link to it and basically this has literally replaced all of my physical notes. So here I have all my math easy notes, my engineering notes over here, some other random notes, a bunch of notes here. I would write, uh, just, I would just take a lot of notes and now I realize I don't need any of this because I could replace it completely with this OneNote program. And also, uh, you could also click this link. I have this in the Dropbox link below. It's just a quick guide PDF that Microsoft has. I'll just go over uh, the main points right now. So if I click on this OneNote section right here, so uh, basically I actually created a, a note a notebook right now. I'll just uh, create a new one actually. I'll so just show you what I mean. So right now I have all of my stuff. I have Math Easy, Life Notes, Engineering, Reading, and some other random sites that I have. So for example, I go to this. MES notes. I go to the solutions. These are I started making notes for each video I make. I would make notes. This one is over here. This is the one I'm doing right now. I wrote a bunch of notes on uh, what to include in this video, and it's pretty amazing. So you can zoom in and out. You could move it around and right. But I'll just go over creating a uh, just a random notebook. So first of all, you, actually before I get to it, basically uh, what this is comprised of is. It's just a notebook and each notebook has these you could insert tabs on these notebooks and each one has pages and you could even have sub pages by well, basically holding this and you can go make sub page so it's a page part of this one or you could uh, basically go to make promote the page make it a, a full page not a sub page so basically that's that's the main point of it and everything is searchable you could search through your entire notes or yes yeah, so right now it's search through all notes you could change what it searches and then you can even search uh, stuff you write. Basically, instead of the text, you can actually search this sub pages stuff. So, uh, first of all, I'll go over adding a notebook. So, you go add a notebook, you can put it in your computer, and your, but I recommend putting it in your SkyDrive so you could open it anywhere with ease, like your phone, your laptop, etc. Let's create a new folder. So, everything is saved on the web, and there's a temporary uh, file inside your computer that's saved and it automatically syncs to the web so so basically you yeah everything is on the web so you you lose your laptop desktop whatever everything is still there you still have your notes which is pretty amazing so I, I would go over inside here I save it in here I'll make a new one you can click over here so this is the keyboard uh, you could have this you could use an external one I like using this writing one so you can go testing let's go testing two and insert so there's a testing to create so we're creating a new notebook so here it is asking do you want to invite people which is pretty amazing you can invite people they just need to log into their sky drive or hotmail and then they can uh, basically edit whatever page you send them or whatever notebook which is pretty amazing let's go not now for now so it starts off with this random section and an untitled page and this title page this depends on whatever you write over over here so over right here but uh, you could also it also recognizes your te test or text. It was right testing. The right testing over here. So it should, yeah. So it's untitled. Yeah. So basically, it found out that it's testing and it wrote testing in the title. Let's just replace this with title right here. So right title. You could press insert or just wait. So if you wait, it just shows you what it is. And you can erase like this. You could write, correct it, make a capital right here. Let's make capitals everything and make this small letter. Yeah, so now I go insert and now the title is changed over here. And basically now when we have this, you can also zoom in and out and you could keep scrolling around right and left. I think to infinity or just a large number of stuff. You can also go insert new section automatically puts gives you the date, the current date. 
So now we have this part right here. And also, I'll show you, it's searchable, which is quite amazing. So everything you've ever written in this or typed, you can search it. So I'll search this testing, see if it comes up. I'll go here, click this. Let's write testing. Yeah, the technology for uh, uh, writing recognition is just amazing. So there you go. This is it's in testing too, and it's also I had an earlier book right here. There's testing there. That's that's where it found it over there. So basically, go back to this. So as you can see, it it is in this recent one. It's highlighted even my writing. So it's highlighted this, which is amazing. So now if you hold the button here, hold the the button on the pen, you can actually highlight stuff like this. And then I have this shortcut to, to delete. You can just go delete it. So that that part is deleted, or you could go undo, or move this around. I actually have, yeah, let's move this. No, it's not moving. Okay, now it's now it's moving. Everything's connected to that. I think that's the problem is over here. I have that part on it, and also you could erase with the pen, which is amazing. So I can just flip this over and erase with the pen. So I'll go erase, flip it over. So I'll move this around again. And also you could even use your finger. So as you see, when I write with my fingers, the default not writing, it just moves. But if I put the pen, it's moving. So right now I'm writing with the pen. And you can also change that. You can click this home button. You could pin this button by here. So if you pin this, so if you pin the ribbon, you'll always have the ribbon there. So you can you click over here, draw, and there's other stuff on it. And you could also make it write with, uh, with your finger. That's just click on this draw to draw with pens. I'm um, draw with touch. So I'm using that. I'll just unclick it and then erase my pen. Uh, and also, and also if you type this right here, and you can also use your finger to select by circling the circle. So I'll go again. So you click anywhere. So this is the beauty of it. You can write anywhere you want. Writing. Insert. So you have it there. Which is this is the best part about it. So you could actually have notes anywhere you want. Uh, again, the circle. So I'll click over here. Use the circle. I can move this over here, right like that, etc. And also, you could also have you go to the home. There's a to-do list or starring, which is quite amazing. You can actually highlight. You can do a lot of stuff. And if, for example, it also recognizes your handwriting, which is amazing. For example, let's write stuff one, stuff. Two stuff three and let's say we want to make a to-do list out of this. We can just hold the button on the on the pen, circle this, and now go to this to-do. Click to-do. There you go. There's check marks on it. I can click inside to make it a check mark. Actually, why it's not doing that? I just click with your finger, and you could uncheck this to-do list, which is quite amazing. Yeah, so anyways, this is pretty much what I want to cover right now. There's, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. You can even check your revisions over here, say when it was changed, etc. You can delete all revisions and deal with it that way. And also, if you've deleted, you can check. You can undelete if you haven't permanently deleted it through the computer or through the web. And basically, yeah, this is all I want to cover now. And uh, yeah, so this is pretty amazing. I, I strongly recommend you try this out, especially with the Surface Pro. And you may like it, and you may stop using paper, save some paper, save printing, etc. And because without ever needing to use paper again for note taking. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank hopefully, you learned from this. And I also included these notes in the uh, SkyDrive link below. And that's all for today. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.